Hey, so in this video, I want to talk to you about some reasons why you might not be listing for sale by owners or even for rent by owners. And what I want to talk about is the approach that you take with a for sale by owner oftentimes will dictate what outcome you have with that, that lead. So as you know, for sale by owners, they can be tough to call, right? That's the common um, perception that we have as agents is when we call for sale by owner, they're usually not too happy to hear from us and they can be rude at times, right? Um, they can hang up the phone. They might say, hey, stop calling me. Uh, I'm not listening with an agent. I don't see any value in what you do. They hang up and it just, you know, it makes you feel really bad. And a lot of times it makes agents not want to call that lead source because it's, it's oftentimes loaded with a lot of rejection. So in this video, I want to kind of talk to you about a different approach that you can take with these for sale by owners and get a better outcome. And that approach is basically adding value and becoming a backup plan for them. Now, a for sale by owner is usually a very high D personality type. So if you don't know what the DISC profile test is, you wanna go look that up because that's gonna tell you a lot about how most of these people think, right? Their personality profile is usually a high D. And what that means is they're very direct and decisive. So they don't want someone wasting their time and they don't want to be told that they're wrong, right? And that's the approach that a lot of real estate agents come at this with, is that, hey, you're wrong, I can get you more money than if you sell it on your own. And when you take that approach with a for sale by owner, it doesn't work because they don't want to be told that first of all, they have some ego involved and invested in this. And ultimately they feel that we're a commodity and that we get paid more than that we're worth. So it can be a problem. And the best way to show someone your worth is not by telling them, it's by showing them. So the approach that really works with these, these, this lead source is not going and saying, hey, you're wrong. Did you know that the average house is, that's listed by an agent sells for 13% more than a for sale by owner? Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna net you more money. Uh, why are you doing this? That's the wrong approach. It's very combative. And the D-type personality, it doesn't, does, it doesn't work, right? It doesn't work for that personality type to be combative with them because they're going to turn off. The best approach you can take with this kind of lead is a value-based approach. So what you want to do is you want to be friendly. You want to agree with them that, hey, you can probably sell this on your own. The market is very hot. But... If you don't sell it on your own, you decide it's not worth your time and you want to hire a professional, I want to be your backup plan. So the approach that you want to take is more of a friendly approach. Ask them how you can add value and, you know, honestly, try to help them sell the house on their own, right? Honestly, give it a crack. Say, hey, here's some things that I would do and just add value every single week. Another thing you want to do is you want to get a face-to-face -face appointment with these clients because if you're just calling them, there's a million other agents that are just calling and you have to get past the noise because there's a lot of noise in the marketplace right now, especially for this lead source. And if you can't get past the noise, you're going to have problems because there's so many agents calling this particular lead source because there's such an inventory shortage that you want to be able to stand out. So what I would suggest is this, go get a preview appointment, go sit down with these people and you know, talk to them and find out what their needs and wants are and say, hey, look, I'll be in touch. If anything changes, just reach out to me. I'm always here to help, right? Come from that standpoint and then reach out every single week and check in say, hey, how are you doing? Is there anything I can do? Are you having an open house? Do you want some open house sign-in sheets so you know who came into your house? Is there anything I could be doing at my end of things to help you sell this house on your own? And what you're gonna find is that a good majority of them realize that they don't wanna do this on their own because it's a lot more challenging and it's a lot more legwork than they think. And they ultimately call you up and say, hey, look, you're the only agent that gave me value 
You're the only agent that took the time to find out what my wants and needs were, and you're the only agent that took the time to try to help me when there was nothing in it for you. And that's a powerful thing for somebody. Like, when's the last time somebody tried to help you without trying to get something out of it? It's not that common. So, as an agent, if you can provide that kind of service, especially to someone that's highly skeptical of agents to begin with, you're gonna win them over if they decide to list. And the majority of these for sale by owners, you're gonna notice, just, just for fun, go on your local Zillow, go, go on whatever website you want, for saleByowner.com, and take 10 of those addresses, right? And what, write them down on a list, and watch how many of those addresses and how many of those people actually end up listing with an agent over the course of 30 days. The majority of the people that are on there, even in this kind of market, are going to end up listing with somebody because they don't want to deal with it. They try it out and they decide it's not worth it and they decide to call somebody. And you want to make sure that person is you. And the best way to do that is to build a relationship with them and build trust and add value from day one. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this video encourages you to go out there and call for sale by owner leads because it's, it's low hanging fruit. It's a great lead source. A lot of the people, you know, if you can get past the hard shell and the hard barrier are great people and they can end up being a great referral source and you can actually end up taking someone that's highly skeptical of agents and turning them into your biggest fan. And that's one of the most powerful things you can do for your business. So I hope you go out there and kill it. Let me know how you're doing with for sale by owners and drop it in the comment section below. Thanks so much.